Hey guys, what's up? It's Cameron, and I decided it was about time I made a video. I haven't made a video in quite a while, <clears throat> aside from that last vlog I did showing what's going on uh, with me and my computer and all that good jazz and everything. I was talking about stuff then showing and telling you guys why I haven't made a video for a long time and everything. And I've told this to people, and I'll just say it again and everything, basically. The reason I haven't made a video is because of... Not only like was I incredibly busy with school and everything, I had personal matters going on and everything, I got busy with stuff outside of school, got into a relationship again and all that good jazz and everything, and I love what's going on with me and everything, but I want to make videos and everything. So, I decided this video that I'm going to be coming back with is going to be me talking about m m what my schooling is right now and everything. If any of you don't know, I'm a high school graduate and everything, I'm 19 years old, and I am going to school for game design. And, like... Like I'll just I'll just tell the story basically of how I got into game design and everything. Um, this this video like editing and everything is gonna be like really probably really choppy and kind of not top notch just because I just got my new computer. I don't have all the right recording software on it and all that good jazz. I don't have anything on my hard drive, so it might be just simple backgrounds or something like that just to tide you guys over or images whatever it may be. I am showing you guys footage of stuff that I am doing uh, or, or I have done with school and everything. So now that that's done. So two semesters ago. I went to school, um, I went to a community college and everything. I'm actually going to Norco uh, Community College. And the reason I decided to go to community college um, or that is because um, I didn't want to go to a straight university and everything and pay all that money for a general education that I could have gotten right here in my back, uh, right here outside my door. And it worked out incredibly well because I was registering for my first set of classes two semesters ago. And we noticed that there was a game design class and everything. And I'd heard about the game design program that this um, school was offering and everything. I'm like, you know what? Let's just take a shot in the dark and everything. Let's just see how this goes. Because I like I knew back then, and I've known for a long time, that I want to make video games. I've been a gamer for 15 years of my life and everything. I've spent so much time on it. Hence YouTube and all that and all the stuff I've done and everything. Like, I decided I want to make video games. I want to bring people the same joy and entertainment that I got when I was a kid and everything, and I still get. So, I went into this class. The class was titled um, Game Design Principles. And I went in there not knowing what to expect and everything. It was the first class I ever taken, especially for game design and everything. And I went in there completely blind. The shock I had from the environment that was in there was absolutely phenomenal. Um, this class was set up to where it was designing... Um, I'm oh, sorry, expressing like what the game design principles are and how a game is made basically and all the steps that you go through and everything. We're talking about mechanics, dynamics, aesthetics, all kinds of stuff and everything. Play testing, um, concepts, uh, concept proposals, um, in front of class um, uh, presentations and everything like that, pitching your game, all kinds of different things and everything like that. All these things in just one class. And what was phenomenal that like shocked me and everything was that in this school that I'm going to right now, is that you hear a lot of teachers like talk or like a lot of students talk about their teachers and everything saying well they're just a bunch of idiots and everything they don't care about whether or not I'm passing and all that and everything aside from like their own like passing and failing record and everything like that the, what's amazing about this program and everything is that um all these professors they like not only like have almost all of them like literally almost all of them have worked in the industry and everything the actual game industry or some form of media of it is um they actually cared to see how well you progressed from day one of the class where you felt like you had not a single ounce of talent in your bone and everything until the end of that class and everything and you look back and see what's happened and everything. Um, it, 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 it's happened to me already. I didn't. I went into a few classes and everything, completely lost, didn't know what I was doing and everything, and I came out learning a new skill that I may or may not use. It was amazing. And now because of these classes and everything, like this is now a skill set that I could use and grow in the future and everything. So it's just amazing to see that like these professors not only like they like just care to see that you've learned what they've been trying to teach and everything and actually care to see how well you learned it and everything and to like actually like encourage you to progress and everything into the field. Um, but yeah, so I mean, what's amazing is um, the, uh, the pro program I'm in right now is basically set up to where in two years time, I will have a game design certificate saying I know how a game is built and I know how to build a game and everything like that. And what's awesome is that my school, there's four of these certificates. There's game art, there's game audio, there's game design, and then um, there's another um, there's another substandard of art, or um, I think there's two different art ones. And I think there's even a programming one that's coming out and everything. And so the first semester, like I 
went and took my game design principles class, and it was all about analog games. And what I mean analog games, like for people who may or may not know, is that it's mostly like board games and everything. So I. I didn't know it was board games at first. I was like, okay, well, this is something new. I didn't know this was going to happen. And I got really into it and everything. And talking in the class and everything, it wasn't like when game when discussions came up in class, it wasn't a simple raise your hand and answer the question. You no, know, someone brought up a topic and then someone counter like com uh, commented on it and then someone else co counter commented on the comment and everything. It was just an open house like discussion and everything multiple times throughout the first class and everything. It was an entirely different environment that I was never used to before. And the final project for my first class was me and um, uh, three teammates. We had to build a full board game. And we had to uh, come up with the concept. We had to pitch the concept to get approval of it. We had to uh, figure out the mechanics, the aesthetics, the dynamics of it. All kinds of stuff. We had to play test it with people who were um, in the program. We had to play test it with people who weren't in the program. And it was a giant crunch and everything to get everything done as fast as we could and it was fantastically amazing like to this day i'll never forget that class because it was so amazing and then in my second semester i re um, i decided i was going to go full force into all um these game design classes so for my second course uh, or semester i should say i took uh game design um digital game design and then i also took introduction to 3d modeling and i also took um uh, introduction to C++ programming and it, the like, I like I can't stress enough that the environment there is just so amazing and everything it didn't feel like I was going to school and everything like it, it's amazing when you go to school and you find a set of classes that you want and like it's actually something you know you want to do you don't feel like you're going to school you feel like you're going like you're going to have fun and everything while there is a lot of pain and struggle that comes with it with like sleepless nights and everything dealing with deadlines and papers and all that and dealing with teammates or like any classmates and everything that you may or may not have the best um uh, relationship with and everything it was fantastically amazing and there are so many schools out there that offer this and everything some people like they a hey, they think to themselves, I want to be a game designer, but I don't know where to start and everything. And then that's the furthest they ever go with trying to figure it out and everything. I, I've known a couple of people who thought that they wanted to be game designers and they just never took the right steps like actually go in there because people are so intimidated by the fact that the game, the, uh, the game industry is so tight-knit and so hard to get into that they don't pursue it. But it, it's just amazing because all these classes and everything... Are actually working towards something, and all these, um, all of these uh, game companies are actually starting to look at these game design certificates and all these um, certificates that people are earning, and realizing the talent that's behind all these. I've seen people in my program who are incredibly talented, art-wise, design-wise, sound-wise, and everything. Like whenever I see their stuff, I'm just absolutely blown away and everything. And then I look back at my own stuff. I'm like, I could have done better with this. I could have done better with that and everything. But then I look at it. And from a different angle, like I actually did really good. I'm this is something I'm proud of, and this is something I want to show people. I want to show this to a potential employer and say, Here's what I can do, I can do this for you, and I can do it right. It, it's just fantastically amazing. Um, and like I'm just I feel like I just like sound like a broken record when I just keep repeating the same stuff over and over again, but it that's just what it is for me right now. My next classes that I'm going to be taking these upcoming semesters, I'm going to be taking um. Uh, the history of video games, which actually amazingly actually applies to my general education. I'm going to be taking that. I'm going to be taking um, introduction to level design. And then I'm also going to be taking um, uh, introduction to Photoshop art. And then I'm also be uh, taking another C++ class and everything. Like, it's just amazing to see all this. And like I said earlier, with the fact that all these professors are actually in, were involved in the industry, they've built games outside of school and everything. They've actually worked for companies. I was watching a video um, from the uh, from my college and everything, and this one guy, um, I forget the names, uh, the guy's name off the top of my head. He worked for places. He worked for Blizzard. He worked for Rockstar and everything. He worked on GTA 4, and he was an art. Um, he was an art talent. And it's just fantastically amazing to see all this and everything. Um, this, for our second semester, our final project was to build a full digital um, game and everything as much as we could in six weeks. And every week, we uh, we gave a status update on um, basically by presentation showing where we were, 
what we wanted to accomplish in that week and what we did and what we want to do next week and everything. And we set our goals depending on our deadlines and how easy were they to make and everything and like set our sights higher and higher sometimes and all that. It's just a fantastic experience. If anyone like honestly like feels like they want to um, go into the game design, don't like the biggest thing, like, I, I even had it earlier today. I was thinking, like, I want to download, like, a development kit and everything and, like, learn it and try to see what I can create with it. And then, like, in the back of my mind, like, I was thinking to myself, like, if you do that and everything, you're going to do it wrong. You're not going to do it right and everything. And then I thought to myself, like, in this stage of my life and everything, I don't have someone telling me that's wrong, that's right and everything. This is my learning stage of life and everything where I learn how to use these tools and how to use them well and everything. I don't have someone judging me saying that uh, you're doing it wrong. When you're a student and everything, aside from like actual deadlines and like requirements that they have, you can't do something wrong and everything like that. You learn the uh, skill sets and everything and come with. Not only do you like learn all these skill sets and everything, you make connections. That's like the biggest thing to get into the industry. You make connections with your fellow classmates and your professors and all that good jazz and everything like that. I already um, am in contact and like working with people outside of school on other projects that aren't school related. This is our own stuff and everything like that. It's fantastically amazing and like it just gives me an, a giant energy high and everything. So I mean anyone who's asking me how do I get started and everything, just look up colleges and everything that are in your area and see what you can find. Like there, like some people say, it's not out there, it's not around there in my area. It probably is, and you just haven't looked at it far enough and like see where it is, and you haven't chased it and everything. Never like, you never like really want to settle for something and everything. Like, is if you wanted to do something and you just didn't do it, and then you just kind of settled for a different job that you think would be fun, and then 20 years later you realize you settled for something that's just paying the bills and everything. You're not going to be as happy with your career life as had you been chasing something that you wanted so much and everything, and you would willingly put hours upon hours into work and working into it and sacrifice sleep and everything, sac sacrifice so much and everything. I've sacrificed so many hours of sleep so far just in these semesters, and it's only going to get better. And like, hey, and I'm, I'm going to sacrifice more. I I just absolutely love it. Like I always think back to this. Um, and saying is like find a job that you love and you'll never work a day in your life and with this game design stuff that's exactly what I'm chasing I I know if I go through with this and I get all this done and I find that right job or I go independent or I do what whatever it is if I'm working on games I'm not gonna work a day in my life because I want to go to work I want to spend countless hours working on something and working on those fine details that some people may not notice but I will and I'll be damn proud of what I ship and what product I give to people to experience. I'm not making a game, I'm making an experience. That's how I look at all this. And it's just fantastically amazing. So, as I realize, I've just rambled on for 13 minutes about this and like I don't even know what's on the screen anymore or anything like that. I just wanna say, if you like, some people are asking me, how do I get into game design? Where do I do this and everything? Look up schools in your area and figure out how you can get involved in it and how you can become part of it. If you're seriously thinking you may want to do game design, game audio, game modeling, art, like anything, programming, all kinds of stuff, seriously look into it and everything. It's a whole new world that people feel privileged to be a part of. The, while like the game development um, community is a very like it's a small community when you look at it in retrospect to other career communities and everything. And I guarantee you, every single one of the people who is in the industry feels absolutely pri privileged to be in that industry, doing what they're doing, and better off, they're getting paid to do it. And they love that and everything. They sacrifice so many hours and everything. So thank you guys for listening to everything. This is, this is just me telling you guys where I've been, what I've been doing, and what I am doing, and everything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that I didn't bore your brains off for 15 minutes or whatever. But anyways, guys, if you have any more questions regarding what I'm doing or what I'm doing with all this and everything that I didn't cover, leave a comment, tweet at me, whatever. I will answer any questions you guys may have. Thanks again, guys. Be sure to subscribe and all that good jazz. I will see you guys in the next video whenever that's able to go up. Bye, guys.